So Tim and I are off to uh, Norway. We've just gone through airport security. Leaving. Don't put sauce on. We're leaving at 11, oh no, boarding at 11.20. Um, we're gonna do vesting and hike. We're catching the Val Valdez Express, and then we're doing it over four days. So we're gonna try and do a bit of wild camping. Tim's decided we need chocolate. Can't live without it. Here's a travel edition, right? Oh, look at that. Got one of these as well. This is it. A lot of these. Where are we at? Oh, 16. Right, we're getting on. Tim's doing a Snapchat. 90. 737. 800. Great to landing on the give us time, Tim. We've arrived in Oslo. Tim, where are we at? Our next big mission is finding where the uh, where the coach leaves from. One bag. Thank you, Tim. Second bag. Oof. How have you packed so light somehow? Oof. Exit. And let's go. Bus stop 35. Buses and taxis. Where? Oh, you're right. I'm always right. I'm a genius. You're always right. <laughs> He's always right. Bite stolen. Tim my happy. Good. Tim my happy. Knob till. Connect to. Let's knob to old boy. It's looking really good for walking. To be fair, this is actually good walking weather. Right? Well, no, not the rain, but like the temperature. Yeah, we're very tired. So, Tim and I have just arrived in Bicycle. We're going to the Burger Hotel down the road from the Radisson, where the bus stops. We're in hut number three. It's a. Thank you, Tim. It's a hut for eight to ten people, we've been told. Tim, I'm already out of half. So this is our house for the night. Oh, oh. oh it's got a drying room. It's got a drying room. We need to dry all of our... It smells of wood. I like this. Right, we have D-Road taken off the chute because we want to keep this fresh. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, 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 oh. This cabin's meant for eight to ten people. Four beds in there. <laughs> shower and stuff in there. So this is a really beautiful cabin. Right, so this is our accommodation. We have the upstairs that we're in currently. Uh, we have one of the rooms. I think I'll take this one. The other room. So we have the upstairs dining area. For a hiking holiday, I reckon we've, you know, we've been treated quite well. We have a kitchen, followed by another dining area. Space for the guests. If you go into the bathroom, oi, oi. we have our very own mini sauna. So we just got the water going, chugging the tortellini. I don't know, should we have some four cheese sauce? Oh, it's Coleman's, it's gotta be good. So I'm gonna get in the Wi Fi. Tim's done streaks, I need to do my streaks. Very important. We're not going stupidly late to bed, but it doesn't really matter because tomorrow we're only getting a bus and then catching a ferry. I am pretty excited because this is an awesome accommodation for the first night of our um, holiday. Oh, we've just woken up the next morning. The weather is looking pretty good outside. We've got blue sky that way. Packing up all of our kit. We're gonna get the 12.45 bus to Gendersheim. And then we're gonna take the ferry right down to there. Then we're staying in the DNT Association's cabin that night. I'm packing a tent. I've got the inner and outer. Tim's got poles and pegs. Four days worth of food. It's come to the sad time when we have to leave. Burgo Cabin 3. Got me there. Jotunheimer Oost, which means east, so east Jotunheimer. We start over here at Gender Time. We catch a ferry all the way to the end to Genderbu. Then we stay in a cabin here, which is meant to be really, really nice because it's meant to be raining today, but it's not. So then the next day we walk either this way or this way, depending on it's raining or not, because that. The contours there are pretty serious. And then we walk all the way up here, we camp here, then the next day if we walk up here, which is like two hours, camp there, then do best again the next day and chill out here for two days. Then we come back down this road to buy Stolen and chill out for four days. Sunrise Express. There is sheep on the bridge. There is sheep. <laughs> No cat mountains ahead. So that's Bestigan Ridge. That's what the walk's named after. Yeah, all the way down to there. Thank you. So this is where we were walking. These are the boats that take you to there. 
to go up Vestigan or right down there to do the two day one. Oh, I've got my puffer on now because it's cold. It's tinned guacamole. You're meant to go lightweight. No, I've just got on the boat to reach my boom. It's like plush. The ferry's just got going. We're going down. the day walk. This is the last stop. It's really beautiful now. The sun's come out so we'll probably walk a long way tomorrow. So this is the DNT cabin. So that's where you enter and the reception's there and it's really nice and there's a little shop that's where you have your dinner and your breakfast. I forgot the number of our room. It's over here on the first floor. So you can camp here as well. It's 75 krona to camp. And you can camp down by there. And wherever there's like a, um, a sign with a number on, they give you a number and you camp there. So we're in room 119. Oh, what is this? Well, this is a very good room for Two beds, bin, chairs. I don't need a blanket because I'm well odd, you know me. Four beautiful hangers. It's actually quite nice, nice and cosy. We've got a view, beautiful view. Snow capped, snow capped mountain, another snow capped mountain. Oh, I thought, oh my goodness, I thought that was a light, so I just pulled on it. And tonight we're staying in Chindabu DNT Oslo, which is known as for something, something, something association. Okay, dinner's at 6.30 to some, sometime 8.30. Don't know. And breakfast is at seven to nine. Tim and I are just off to dinner. We have no idea what it is. It was fish soup for starters. It was very nice. Fish soup for starters. What was what was for main? Uh, like no, it was like the IKEA meatballs, but in a burger. So Tim's just checking his phone on the charge. That's what I love about Norway. No one steals anything, honestly. So tomorrow, what time are we waking up, Tim? Eleven o'clock. We're waking up at seven o'clock. Well, we've just left Chendibu. And now we're just heading to Memrubu. Memrubu. We're heading there. Sorry for bad pronunciation. We might well camp just before the descent down into Memrubu. But yeah, so we're going to do the short, steep route today because the weather's looking all right. There's a bit of blue sky. Actually, there's a lot over there. Some serious mushrooms. Look at those. Tim and I have just got to one of the parts of the walk, which is known to be pretty brutal. The, the chain section is just up up there a bit <laughs> and you're going up waterfalls a bit like that <laughs> right let's keep going i guess there's not got to do by any means oh this battery's about to die so there's jindabu just around the corner there these are the chains what it's known for just straight up. Yes, yeah, so this part just goes up 400 meters. When we get up to the top, it's pretty flat. And there's some lakes where you might want to camp. Come on, Tim. <laughs> it's such a nice view. That's perfect walking weather up here. Pretty much there. I mean, it flattens out over there, the path. And it goes up there. But uh, yeah, we've done well. We've been walking for about an hour and 45. There's a lot of waterfalls, though, just randomly around. And a lot of snow-capped mountains, but we're not walking over that thing. Have we made it, Tim? It's, we've made it to the top of the ridge, and that's just a straight walk. This is our view. <sighs> nice. Yeah, so we can camp anywhere around here. There's the, there is uh, the start down there. This is, uh, Tim and I have set up our first camp. Which, how long did that take? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? The marmot tent with the extra guys to keep it from the rain going in the sides. We got a tarpaulin underneath. I've got my Robin's sleeping bag. Tim's got a snug pack. I got my Thermo Rest. Tim's got a... I'm assuming it's like Quetcher. Yeah, I think it's Quetcher. Yeah, so we set off at 8.30, but what time is it now? Like... Uh, 12.41. <laughs> it's, it's 20 to 1. <laughs> Just come down from the camp, which is over there. And we've just come to eat our lunch here by the lake and Tim is 100% going to fall in and ruin his down jacket in a minute. 100%. 
for our cooking, we got the jet boil and and we got our uh, OEX XT2. We got a bowl and all that rubbish. Meal pack one. Rogan Josh mugs shots. Oh, oh, flip. We have a bag for each day with breakfast, lunch, and dinner and dessert. What's your rating for the mugshot Rogan Josh? It's alright, yeah. Out of 10. I need a 10. I need Tim food rating. Give it a 7.5. 7.5. Dessert, Tim and I are going to have some caramel dairy milk. I love you, Jet Boyle. Never. Right. Tim and I am, um, Tim has been sleeping. We're going to go to bed, but we're just going to have dinner first. But it's dropping fast, and as soon as that sun goes down, I know it's going to get really cold. But as you can see, I'm in my, uh, really beautiful uh, warm yeah. clothes <laughs> for tonight's dinner we have the deluxe pasta and sauce mac and cheese edition by bachelors thank you bachelors mac and cheese tonight we have a beautiful view of the lake <laughs> tim thought it was raining and then i heard and it was really light rain but it's not rain it's snow <laughs> Oh, Tim, it looks so cool. So we're being snowed on in the marmot. I, I don't think we're probably ready for this. So that means it's, what, under zero? Or is it under two, I think? Anyway, Tim, do, do you want to get walking? No. <laughs> snow, snow, go away. Come back another day. I don't think it is going to go away. Tim's playing tennis because he's got to get that exercise in. <laughs> That's snow, that's snow, <laughs> and whenever Tim knocks it off, it adds to the pile down. Look, it's ridiculous. He's doing... <laughs> that he <laughs> Tim and I have been walking for about an hour now. Uh, it's an amazing view. Back down there, I'll just point, you probably can't hear me. Back down there is Yendersheim. We've just reached um, Meadowbu, which is halfway. Gendersheim is just around there. There's a little hydroelectric power station just there, which is pretty cool, I think. Let's go. I'm going to cross a little bridge to get across to the refuge. Across a pretty powerful river. Tim and I have just set up camp in uh, just under the Memorubu cabin, which is up there. You're not allowed to camp too close to it, but you can pay 75 krona per person to camp down here and have showers, Wi Fi, tea and coffee, stuff like that. We're just getting all of our stuff ready to go up for a shower. I'm gonna come back, grab with our new clean clothes, grab our phones, and then have some Wi Fi time. Wi Fi time. Wi Fi. Yeah. It's what's the time? It's 7.30, we are hoping to leave at around 8.30, no, probably 9. We were talking to a man who went up yesterday and he said he was in um, ankle deep um, depth of snow up there and he couldn't see the track markers because they were covered in snow. So let's hope we don't get that, but it's looking pretty good for today. We're just going to pack up and then get going. This is the first ferry of the day coming in. Look at the wake of that thing. Pretty powerful. Yeah, but this ferry is packed full. So we're probably going to walk after them because our tent's not exactly packed away yet. We've just been chilling. Now it is five to nine. We're meant to be leaving at nine. We're five minutes early because we did a speedy tent packing away. Yendersheim again. Fire Bessigan. And this is the normal day walk that people take. And it's the most popular route around here. And this is the, hopefully the highlight of the walk. No, no run. Yeah, yeah there's loads of sheep. Hi guys! <laughs> Nearly at the top. I think Tim's made it. From when I did this last year, it's so much heavier with the big pack. Well, it's not so much heavier, so much harder. I'm gonna stop every like 10 minutes. Just approaching um, Bessigan Ridge. This is what like the whole walk is known for. As you can see, the beautiful uh, fjord either side of us. But up here is the, the ridge which we're going to climb. We have to first descend and then we go up. The 
ferry going out in the morning to do its uh there's two ferries now they're using both of them but it's quite rough today the fjord uh last night we had loads of people pitch up there's a tp there so we had loads of people pitch up last night there's a tp there there's tents all around us we think it's like a norwegian dov alternative but it's pretty cool but yeah it's got rough overnight but we're quite sheltered in here actually luckily from the wind and everything so yeah we're just gonna head off this morning uh tim's just chucking everything out the tent before we go finished bessigan uh we've just come off and we're just gonna walk now to our um, bus stop we got off the bus today at 12:45. we just had our pizza which is now there and we're gonna go for a swim at the radisson but as you can see, we've already kind of filled everything everywhere. We're taking our bags apart. You can pay a bit and you can go to the Radisson um, with a card and go into their swimming pool and I think also their gym. Oh look, there's, a, there's the bus we'll be catching in um, the Valdres Express Northwest 161. How sad is that that I can remember that? We've seen this. There's a massive new ski centre which looks pretty cool. The Radisson... <laughs> You're saying you're gonna lose that key. The Radisson swimming pool. You've got the gym. You're not pumping the iron today. No, no, no. no, no. So Tim and I have both just packed up and we're gonna go uh, get the bus. Breakfast of the morning. We've no idea what it is, but it looks custody. There's our bus, the Northwest 163. Tim's already back on the bus as Wi Fi. 30 minutes outside of Oslo. I'm on a really, really long time. I think this has been going for like five minutes already. Oh, there we go. Now we're at the end. So we're nearly the airport. There's the airport. Let's do this. Tonight, just putting in our uh, oversized. I think I need to get one of those things that go on the top of your bag because my bag just looks vulnerable to snagging on something. Tim and I are going to get a, a Burger King. I'm going back. There we are. F15, London. Let's go, Tim. They said we're boarding, but no one's getting on the plane. <coughs> There's my bag right there. We're back here again. Thank you. Oh, Tim, it's warm. Mmm. <laughs> Jet fuel. Yeah. <laughs> We're back. Finally. Oi, oi, Traco. Do. Go, we're gonna miss our bus. Do we even know where the National Express leaves from? No, we can find it. But that'd be mine. Tim can hear his mug on his bag, that's how he knows it's his. It's rattling all around. Nothing to declare. We're on the last part of the trip that has got Wi-Fi so we're pretty good. We've also got some uh, charging. Apple. Tim's Apple on Android. Yeah. Who knows better? Samsung. You can see the type of people who buy Apple. Exactly. <laughs> 